Welcome to another versus video. We're going to be doing standable versus physical vibe trackers. FBE full body estimation versus FBT full body tracking. Some of y'all might have seen my last standable video on it where I basically compared it to the standard VRChat IK rig where you notice differences where VRChat's IK rig was more swifty and super stiff in the torso and neck area where standable looked more lifelike fluid and relaxed i've heard rumors about a standable 2.0 there's actually a video on the actual channel about it now i'm trying to get mixed tracking working where you can take any full body tracking setup and merge it with standable and standable will fill in the gaps and the dude working on standable i believe is 18 or 19 years old which is absolutely mind-blowing i mean what a champ the dude is doing it all right so let's just get to the comparison we can see here that standable is actually doing a pretty solid job for basic movements basic fluid movements that are pretty easy to estimate obviously if you lift up your leg or do some sort of like rushing dancing that's not really going to show because it doesn't really know that your leg's moving up it's just guessing what your body's doing based on simple movements of how your body works with where your head and controller tracking uh, positions are. So for the basic tracking, I mean, it does a phenomenal job for not having any tracking down there. For example, the squatting movement is absolutely astonishing. It looks absolutely incredible in my opinion. The walking is a little iffy. It's a little swifty. Kind of looks like it sways a little bit. Not the biggest fan of that, but I mean, that can be updated in the future, hopefully. The laying down and laying back and the laying on the side, anything that involves laying down, actually looks pretty solid and that does make sense since laying down doesn't require crazy tracking obviously doing snow angels isn't going to track properly but laying down on your side and front that's pretty easy to estimate and that's why i you can see it looks absolutely incredible i mean i am a sucker for how good it looks because just imagine laying down in your bed no tracking with controllers you know trackers on you that's that's incredible. For the simple movements, the swaying side to side, those isolated hip torso movements, the moving around like how I demonstrated and like kind of like with the boxing movements, it really does show how Standable does a really good job at full body estimation. Obviously now comparing it to the more difficult things like jumping jacks and up and down leg movement, dancing, Gundam style, that kind of stuff, AI estimation can't really do. But in the future, if we can get AI estimation tracking with Vizio or some sort of phone tracking thing or a 360 live camera that tracks everything, I personally think that that kind of like the future of where full body estimation slash tracking lies because that would be really cool to see. And you know, yeah, I think some company will do it. It doesn't even seem like something's too overly complicated to develop. I mean, Standable might even be on it with this 2.0 version. That very well might be the future. So if we can get Standable to connect to Vizio, we might be cooking. We might be cooking something seriously <laughs> incredible. I've actually used it like that for some of my skits, the face tracking and the full body estimation of standable. I've made some really awesome skits with that setup. Even in that video, people thought I had full body tracking when it was just full body estimation. And another thing with the face tracking, right now there's not that many face tracking avatars out there. And the ones that are dominating the face tracking market are anthropomorphic avatars, you know, furry avatars. The other type of avatars that have face tracking are just like the female anime avatars and other, I'm not a fan of wearing a female avatar. We also have this one, which is kind of cool. I, I don't like wearing these kind of avatars. And I think some of these anthropomorphic avatars with face tracking are actually built really well. I mean, everyone in the community knows in VR chat, you know, furry avatars are amongst the best well-made, most accessories, dynamic movements, incredible expressions. I mean, they're more ex expressive than any other avatars, I personally believe. The only other comparison I can think to that is like the e-boy avatars. But then again, those all look the same. But then again, also all the furry ones look the same. That's why you got to get really creative with how you make your avatars, which I do also. Um, avatar commissions open if you're interested. I have a few videos of some avatars that I made, but they're mostly on my TikTok. You should totally click on my cart.co, link in the description. It'll basically show um, all my other platforms that I'm on. You can also go in the email list and sign up learn how to make videos like me i can personally help you make videos and help your channel as well i do find that very fun working on youtube channels i'm working with what i have and those are like pretty much the only good face tracking avatars i mean there's nothing against the community 
I have a bunch of beans, a bunch of furry friends, and I think they're all awesome and super sweet. Any of you guys know any anime avatars that have face tracking really well built that are male or any other type of face tracking avatars, please comment them down below because I am interested. I am interested for every type of face tracking setup that ha that supports full body as well. AI trackers are giving these a run for its money because significantly cheaper and you don't have to worry with all the downsides of this like occlusion if there's something in your way if you have a small room um, if you have a bunch of cabinets or you know stuff that can obstruct the angles obviously these need to be charged and you need to wear them you know and you know there's a lot of factors obviously though this does to this moment in time give you the best tracking because it's basically like mocap avatar stuff this is tracking in 3d space real time while standable is currently just estimation but 2.0 is the future potentially and other vr applications or softwares plus hard hardware could potentially change the game if you guys have anything you want to talk about in the comments below about what we discussed in this video or any of the comparisons we made please comment down below i respond to most of the comments if not all um and yeah i really do appreciate you guys for watching this video and i will see you in the next one also comment any other video ideas that you might need me to see and check that link in the description to all the equipment i use thank you so much for watching this video and i will see you guys in the next one